Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and today we're going to look at six of my favorite wigs. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I want to take just a minute to thank you all for praying for me. I posted a video on Monday and I had a little bit of a rough couple of days and I just want to thank everybody that prayed for me and took the time to reach out to me with the community. I appreciate that so, so much guys. Thank you so much. Today, we're going to look at some of my favorite wigs. We're going to look at three inexpensive wigs and then three of the wigs I've got that are a little bit better wigs. So this is the first one that we're going to talk about. This is one of the very first wigs that I purchased. I ordered this wig from Amazon. The wig was like $18.99, $17, 20 bucks, something like that. But this is the platinum blonde wig on the very first video that I ever did on wigs on YouTube. And this is it. So here she is. And I like to take her and spike her out. Put a little bit of that John Renault piece out in there and just spike the hair out. I still love this wig. I've always wanted to do my hair white. I've always wanted to have this platinum color and I can have it anytime I want to. Now, thanks to this little wig. Moving right along, I'm going to put on my beachy blonde wig and we're going to take a look at that one because that's number two. That's the second one and this is an Amazon wig as well. Be right back. Okay, this is my little beachy blonde number and I did an Amazon wig unboxing. I can't remember if it was my second or third unboxing and I did, I ordered this little wig. And I have really, really enjoyed this wig. She's a lot of fun. I think she was $19.99. And I'll be sure to drop a link to all these wigs down in the description so you guys can take a look at them. But I have really enjoyed her. I have actually loaned her out a couple of times to a couple of my friends for them to wear. I had a friend, we went shopping. She wore this wig. I wore the platinum wig. And we went out and just had a wig sister's day of fun. I loaned this to a lady who was going to a costume party and she wanted something to do like a Bonnie Parker kind of look and I loaned this wig to her. I don't have any problem wearing this wig out in public even though it's an inexpensive wig. I love the wig. So on to number three. Here we go. Okay so here is the one that I call Bridget and Bridget is just a little red-headed lassie and I love this wig. Every now and then, I want to wear curls. My hair is as straight as a stick, but I like to have curls every now and then, and when I do, I put this on my head. A lot of, I've had some comments about this wig, about people say that wig just really doesn't look good, that good on you, and you know what? Maybe she doesn't, but I still like the wig, and I still wear the wig. I have, you know, done some work to her. I've thinned her out. I've trimmed her bangs. I've done a little work to all of my wigs. But this one is just really near and dear to my heart because it makes me kind of feel closer to my Irish heritage. I don't know. I just like the wig. The next one are going to be some of my, uh, three of my little bit better wigs that I have reviewed lately. So here we go with number four. It's going to be Uniwigs Patsy. Okay, so while I have on one of these Amazon wigs, let me just show you how they are constructed. And I'll just show you one of them because all of them are constructed identically except for this, uh, this one and this one both have like monofilament parts and the platinum wig does not. But they have just the basic wig cap. This is exactly how they're constructed. They have the little hooks on the side that are elastic and you just hook it into the back and it's got the open weft design. They're all designed exactly the same way, like I said, except this one right here, and this one has a monofilament top, which is pretty good for, you know, $20 wig. So moving on to the wigs by Uniwigs so that you can look at those as well. These have a little bit nicer of a wig cap. The top is a little bit nicer of a lace. They do have the basic wig cap where they are the open wefted designs and the ear tabs is what I really really like. They're metal so you could there's a little piece of metal in there so you can bend that 
to flatten it down on the sides if you want to wear it behind your ears or something of that nature. So there's how these wigs are constructed and I just wanted to drop this in here too while I'm talking about the wigs so you can kind of see the construction of the wigs and know a little bit more about them. Okay, so here I am in Patsy. I have really, really enjoyed collaborating with Uniwigs. And I have not had a wig yet that they've sent me that I have not enjoyed. And I, you know, granted there's only two, but I've got another one coming and I'm looking forward to it getting here. Probably be here sometime next week. But this is Patsy. And I always get, without fail, 100% positive reaction when I wear Patsy. I love this wig. She feels good. She's lightweight. She's just a good, cool little wig. I really like the fact that she feels just, she just feels good. And her hair moves very much like human hair. It's synthetic, but I really like this wig. So on to my next one. Number five is going to be Uniwig's Lisa. Okay, so here is Lisa. I am kind of under the impression that this particular wig just doesn't film as well as Patsy does. I have gotten a few negative comments about this wig when I did the wig review. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I'm going to tell you I did trim the bangs and I did steam the back down with a steamer. And once I did that and tamed her down just a little bit, she has become one of my very favorite wigs for summer. And I will be wearing her this fall when I go to the ball games and do things like that. And I just really like the wig. I love the movement of the hair. And I think Uniwigs does that very well. So, um, Lisa has just been, she's been my little go-to wig here for the last few weeks. Ever since I've, I've had her, you know, if I've been wanting to go out somewhere and I didn't have time to do my hair, I've popped Lisa on my head. And I get a lot of compliments on her when I'm wearing her in person. So last but not least, and this is in no particular order, I've got Eva Hair Artistic Pink. So here I am in Eva Hair Artistic Pink. I have really enjoyed this wig, and I have more fun with her than should actually be legal, I reckon. I have, <laughs> I have worn this wig and just enjoyed it so, so much. I am not used to this much hair, but I am actually loving this lace front on this wig. It lays really, really nicely. She's just a cool wig. I mean, just just a cool little wig. And I like the fact that, you know, I can pull her back, you know, push her straight back. I just have enjoyed, enjoyed this wig. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I have the platinum wig on again. And I have a little dog with me today here in my lap because she has been barking cr like crazy at the neighbors. But I wanted to put this wig back on because I'm going to wear, actually wear her today. I really, really like this platinum wig. I haven't had her out to play in three or four weeks, so it's time she has some fun today. When you get an opportunity, visit my website, Ninja Life Coaching, and I also have a book on Amazon, Lord Am I Going Crazy. It's a 30-day devotional guide for women over 40. Also, I'm dropping a link to everything that I've done today. I'm dropping a link down in the description box, and I'll drop a link to my Amazon store down there. All the wigs are in the store under wigs on Amazon. Um, I have a list over there, and if you want to check that out, I've got i probably got 80 or 90 wigs in there. They're just cool wigs that I found on Amazon. So when you all get an opportunity, just check all that out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. God bless you. Maranatha.